Riku. What's going on with Riku? I don't... Where am I? Yeah, I would like to know that too. I don't think this is going to be like an explanation I'm going to be fond of Stay for how he got out of the darkness. Who's there? Stay you sleeping. should remain asleep. Here, between light and dark. Riku's a limbo between... boy. What? Oh. Huh? The king. Where's the king? Together we close the door to darkness. After that? Yeah, what happened you after that? You drifting here by yourself. How? You did not have the strength to overcome the darkness. Or maybe you were close to it. <laughs> As if I'm some kind of demon. I don't know if he said that. Turn from the light. He said you're a limbo boy. Shut your eyes. Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. But... Oh, there we go, playing with cards again. Oh, what's this? I didn't it even see what it was. To the truth. Take the truth it sounds cool. Ends as you take the first step toward the truth. But know this. The truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? Better than floating here. There is no return to the security of sleep. So is that, is that the extent of the explanation as to how he got out of darkness and is just in limbo land? Just hanging out kind of... Oh, it's Hollow Bastion. I guess that would make sense. Just kind of hanging out in Castle Oblivion it somehow. Like a boring place to take a nap anyway. <laughs> what a cool guy Riku well is. Said. Yeah. Said, yo, Riku, that was a pretty sick one-liner. Pretty cool guy Riku is. There's a door. I heard Riku is a bit shorter. But I'm also a bit worried playing a door to the Riku truth, because huh? he plays a little differently. And by plays, I mean... Well, I mean, it's kind of the same things, but... Whoa! That's sick! Riku's already a cool boy. Look at him go. Cool limbo boy. You can just barely see, like, a discoloration of the wall where a door is supposed to be. Like, they they couldn't make it, like, a solid, I guess. Crazy. I, I should save over my Sora save file. Look at that, I got to the 99 and everything. Save right over that. Don't need that ever again, right? All right. No, I, I need it. It's really dumb that you still need to keep that file. Because after you beat Riku, you can collect the final, like, cards to complete Sora's journal. But it's not like there's anything extra you can really do in Sora's story to, like, make it worth having new cards. I don't even know if you can, like, get the cards if you replay a Sora or something, like, if you start a new Sora story. I don't know. It seems dumb. Let's just go to Hollow Bastion, though. I wonder if Riku will be able to glide, too. Probably not. I don't know. I don't know, like, everything about how this plays out. I don't even know, really, what the story is supposed to be, because I think, for the most part, Sora's story was the important one. But I do like being able to play as my baby boy, Riku. This is Hollow Bastion? What you see is not real. It's the world of your memory. Who said that? Do I press X? I... I guess I do. My memory? The things you remember from your time at Maleficent's castle became a card, and that card made this world. See, so that's gonna be kind of interesting seeing other worlds from Riku's perspective. Because, like, again, things like Monstro and uh, Peter Pan are the things that we kind of saw Riku interact with. I mean, Traverse Town too, but other places we didn't really see him. You've seen everything here before, haven't you? Yeah. So what now? Am I going to learn something? Maybe meet someone? 
you would meet the people in your memories. Ordinarily. What does that mean? Hey, I'm asking you a question, voice in the air. Fine. But it better be you I run across next, voice. Oh, Riku's being a little sassy. I never really noticed, and it's bothering me quite a lot right now, that Riku's little pants have, like, belts at the bottom of them to tie them. It's weird. It bothers me greatly. I mean, like, his whole design was always a little nuts. I kind of always liked it in general, but I don't like the, like, you can see the belts tying the pants to his shoes. So they aren't as baggy. It's weird. Let's fight things. Let's see how this turns out. So, the thing with Riku, right, is that he has the preset decks for when he goes to different worlds. Ow. Ow. I'm already dying. Cool. That was nice of it to reset quick. Does it always reset quick? Because it doesn't look like he has to worry about, um... I, like, I, right now, I definitely think slights aren't the best option, because we have little cards. But it looks like he, um, doesn't have to worry about refreshing his deck. At least for now. So, I guess we probably don't have darkness points yet, but attack boost is what we're going to want to try to go for most of the time. I think this is the same as slights, it's not like every level, so we'll get what we can get as we continue on. I like, too, we have a school sword. I don't remember what it's called. And I actually... I mean, obviously my deck isn't... Oh, Riku cannot customize his card deck. He must fight with the provided deck. There we go. We learned it. Cards in the deck will change as Riku advances to the game. So, like, each world he has its specific deck. So, obviously, Soul Eater is what it's called, right? Did it ever say Soul Eater in... And we actually have to defend our enemy card. So, I probably should use that at the start of every battle at the moment. Last total reload, though. So not a lot of cards there, but we can't really do anything else. We could also shortcut if we want to, it looks like. And then we have normal map cards. And we just kind of go through everything else normally. Good thing is that if I uh, die, I can continue because I already got the trophy for it. Let's see. So I don't even think he... I don't know if he has, like, special attacks, so doing, like, that combo might not have been great. I didn't really get a slight from it. But, again, the reload's nice, which I guess is a benefit. And we're getting level ups right now, so that's good. So yeah, we can't do attack boost now. I don't know how high I would want to put HP. He did a little finger waggle there. Um, So I don't know how high we would want to make our... HP, but, uh, I guess I'll just get what I can from leveling up until we can do dark points. That seems like probably the best option, I would assume. Of course, I am playing on crowd, because I'm a goddamn hero. So, hopefully, this isn't going to be too hard. I know some worlds apparently have terrible decks, which is probably going to be the worst thing. The main one I heard about was Alice in Wonderland. I think the deck's bad, and it's just, like, the worst deck to fight Trickmaster with. So, you know, just watch me suffer through Trickmaster like I did with Sora. I'm assuming it's kind of going to be the same issue I had with Sora, but, like, that was a problem of my own, like, self. I made that problem myself with Sora. With Riku, I think we're just going to be kind of stuck with it. I don't know how enemy cards work, because they gave me a defender. Do I just kind of have random enemy cards no matter what. Which is good because that might mean I don't have to grind for enemy cards. Boy, was that something with Sora. Bad thing is, I, um... When I was looking to level up Sora, I learned that leveling up Riku is a bit of a challenge. In that his, like... There's not, like, as good of encounters as there were with Sora. Like, with Sora, you could just go to Destiny Island and Mega Flare. Which, um, worked really well. I mean, I know that you could have gone to Castle Oblivion and 
tried to battle there too, but... Oh, good. Good hurts. I mean, it's not like I have any options besides just hitting attack right now. But, um, Destiny Island worked a lot better than going to Castle Oblivion just because you don't have anything that resists fire or heals itself from fire. So, you could just kind of get those, uh... Get those enemy killed real quick. And there was, uh... Just using the, uh... Great Dancing Heartless card a bunch. Was it, like, Looming Darkness? I don't remember. But okay, not bad. Probably need to get more health, though. Kill this wizard. Uh, Riku is a little nice and floaty. Alright, at least we got, like, a couple more level ups. Admittedly, I probably should have gone with, uh, more health with Sora, especially near the end there. I just got a little greedy with CP. With Riku, though, I'm not positive. Oh, we actually get another attack boost. I mean, attack boost is obvious because it's just, hey, and battles quicker. Presumably with stuff that could blast you through enemy encounters without worrying about it. I definitely don't need a save point right now, so we'll just go normal. Now, the, the main thing is, when I die, to make sure I remember that I can press continue and not be afraid of it. I must still kill. I think Defender only works with physical attacks? I actually didn't check. It was one of the like last enemy cards I got, so... I mean, it's still... I might as well throw one enemy card on just to... Actually, didn't even... Well, I think it would have shown me. Would have been nice to have maybe a couple more defenders and just the uh, uh, shadows. They're being rude. Damn. I thought I could maybe get a hit off before it slapped me. Already got mingling worlds. Hello. Mm. Part of me feels like I probably should have been a little bit more scared of going into this encounter since my health is so low right now and I have no way of healing myself so it's a little scary I also probably should remember to dodge roll it you know it's hard when you're used to playing a Sora and just thinking you know I don't really need any of these extra buttons just smashing triangle works real well What's the point of knowing how to do anything else? Yeah. No help. Alright, well... Hopefully it won't matter too much. Should probably still try to get those preemptive strikes, though. Just sometimes they're in, like, weird spots, and I think Riku attacks a little bit differently. I'm gonna be real upset if the reload number counter thing reappears for Riku. Level up! I wonder if comboing would still be a better option right now for these encounters, because it's not like there's too many enemies. I don't know. I'll try comboing. Worst comes to worst, I can also just escape. It seems a bit slower, honestly, besides just being able to, I guess, break the cards easier because of the higher number. Doesn't seem like it would be worth it. More encounters. Also, with my attack boost, I'm almost able to kill the wizards in one go. God, it's weird kind of getting used to how Riku's roll works. It just feels bizarre. Also, thankfully, they gave me very high number cards at the start here. Alright, like one more thing here. Shadow Man. I need those sick levels. 
I think I still need to technically collect cards with Riku, but I think that probably is just the cards that I have when I go through worlds. Like, I, I'm assuming that just comes naturally, besides maybe the uh, map cards. Riku's thing is a D report. There's no Gemini story card collection. We're already 23% there. So, yeah, like, presumably the one attack card. Wait, I have an item? Or I've collected an item? Did I... Wait, what happened? How did... How did this happen? I don't... I don't know how I have an item in my deck. I didn't, like, get it from breaking things, did I? Whatever, it's fine. In the long run, it probably really doesn't matter. It's just very confusing to me. meeting ground. I don't have friends, though. I thought this was a premium card for a minute, and that was really gonna throw me for a loop. Can you imagine really ruining Riku's only deck by making half those cards premiums? I don't even... Is there a Moog... Uh, there wouldn't be Moogles. Of course, there wouldn't be a Moogle room because you don't need to get cards. I'm just trying to think things through. You would think that having Riku be pre-built decks like this would make it maybe better for, like, the first playthrough. Like, your first run kind of teaches you better deck synergy by giving you preset ones to work with. And then after that, you play a Sora with decks that you can make yourself. I don't know. I don't make video games. I mean, it's... I guess convenient for us because we don't have to worry too much about trying to fix things, but inconvenient in the sense that we won't be able to cheese enemies if we just have a bad deck. But I'm sure people have found ways to cheese with decks still. I would like, like one more attack at the moment, just because it's almost enough to kill the wizards in one combo. Ow. Ow, I got hurt. So I don't, like, know if there's even really a specific order you want to go through worlds in. I don't know... Because mm. maybe you get boss cards that you can, like, keep in your deck or something. Or maybe you just get the boss cards, like, in the world or something. Or maybe you get nothing. So I guess if Agrabah shows up, I might want to still try that if Jafar is a thing. But if enemy cards aren't a thing, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Do I look like someone who knows what they're doing? Obviously not. I would like one more level up. I feel like I probably can get there by the end of this battle. If the enemies would stop breaking me. Yeah, I only have the one defender. There's a level up. I just want to see if maybe Riku, like, replenishes or something. He doesn't. We've learned that he does not replenish. Alright, more HP. Again, hopefully I'm not screwing myself over by fighting everything to get these, but... Uh, random red... I don't think it really matters what I use. So yeah, with the card collecting, I guess I just have to worry about the map cards, but we'll get there eventually. Everything is just how I remember it, even this room. Is this where you lived, Riku? It must be nice being back in your old bedroom. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but these memories I could do without. Maleficent gave me this room. Did you read the books? So she did, and you lived here, tempted by the darkness she offered. You cast away your home, your friends, everything, but at least they gave you a nice room. 
Is it that nice? There's not even like light. Oh, because of the darkness. They didn't want you to look at the light. They want you to be in the darkness. I get it. Stop talking. Oh, I'm so angry. Also, I think there was a lamp there. He could have totally had some light in that room. But he was too engrossed by the darkness. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it matters with Trago. I'll just go this way and see what happens. I don't know when I can unlock the D. I need to get the darkness points. I also don't know how high that dark... Ooh. Maybe this wasn't the best thing to go into. I don't know how high that darkness can go. Again, I don't know if... Ooh. Rude. Ow. That, like, roll just seems off because it adds, like, an extra bit of animation. Yeah, I I would be lying if it, I said it screwed me up. Are these defenders, like, really tiny in comparison to other ones? Is it because they're, like, baby mode defenders? Also, Riku doesn't really have time to talk to some, uh, friends about how it's weird that he doesn't have all of his cool moves that he had in Kingdom Hearts 1. Then again, most of those were darkness moves. Oh, wow, you really just have a lot of numbers. I was hoping they could just run around you. Because, like, rolling out of the way is not quite as easy as I would want it to be. It's fine. Damn. Oh, the Shadow Man! Still confused. Good whiffs. Good whiffs. All the whiffs. Good. Alright, well, we... We were confused. It's not my fault. Thought I could make it. We're getting a lot of the, like, nasty cards, too. I'm not looking forward to that. I don't know if it's just because we're in Hollow Bastion, or just Riku's gonna have to deal... Riku might just have to deal. I wouldn't be surprised if Riku just has to deal. I mean, because the thing is, right, item cards or magic cards probably aren't going to be helpful for him. The ones that, like, boost your magic or your items because he's not going to specifically have those. I mean, if he gets magic, it might be helpful for him. But, uh... If he doesn't have items in his deck, then what's the point? So, as far as green cards go... Uh, I guess anything that just raises your attack or lets you stun enemies better would be nice. Well, we'll at least get like one more health upgrade probably by the end of this. Come here, wizard! Keep smashing. Take this. Unless if they, like, give me slights later, I don't see any reason to do anything else but smash. Regular combos from the, um, the slight bar don't seem to be that much better. And again, like I said, I don't want to be losing those cards. Good whiff, whoa! I almost got electrocuted by the confusion gas. Maybe not the best enemy to hit first. Getting a wizard out of the way would be nice. Getting a wyvern out of the way would be nice. Man, wyverns were hard to get the enemy card for. There's not a lot of rooms with them near the end of the battle. Yeah, one more attack boost. All right, so we should be able to kill things a bit faster with that, at least. Yeah, besides just getting health, there's really no reason to break these things, are there? Get over here! Oh, I didn't get a... I didn't get a preemptive. But, see, we were able to kill it real quick, except when it breaks me. How rude! I want to kill the Shadow Ball. I wanted to lock on the Shadow Ball, but basic shadows are in my way. 
Okay. Well, now, now we're fine. Now everything's fine. I don't like having a basic deck like this. It's very bothersome. Gotta, gotta work our way back from the bottom. I want to kill things more. More things need to die. You need to not be in my way, Defender. You're being very rude. I can't do much against you when you're defending like that. I didn't even see. I guess I go from high number cards at the top to lower numbers at the bottom. Can I reset my deck myself? Like, decide to do it myself? Like, if I do up to five, can I, like, go back to the uh, refresh and still get it done? I just want to hit this. Even though I don't have, um,. Any numbers to worry about? That would be useful if I can. That actually sounds scary. I don't know why I would want to try to do that. Let's mingle it up. Well, stagnant space is nicer than the uh, other one. Almighty just seems like it would be a bad idea right now. Yeah, I can. Alright, that's good. So if I'm worried about needing higher numbers, I can just restart right away. And it's easy because you still have your D-pad control. Ow. That was a bad kick. I don't like you kicking me. It, it is fun not having to worry about that, at least. I mean... It would be kind of upsetting if they made your reloads up to three times for your uh, deck when they give you things like this one. Such nasty decks. Get out of my way. Get, get back here. Stop. Thank you for stopping. It was very rude. Alright, so... On to the next one here. So yeah, this is just a nice little circle. Don't know why I really wanted that fire, but I did. And I was able to hit it, and it was okay. Take this! Take this! Just... Dark balls seem to be more of a bother than the little gremlins here. Do you think his dodge kick would do damage to enemies? It'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? It'd be like when you uh, fight him on Destiny Island and he has that knockback kick that he uh, does that's really annoying until you know that it's basically a revenge value before revenge values were cool. The good thing is with those attack boosts, we are able to slice through some of these enemies a lot quicker. So I definitely see why that's our top priority, especially if it's one of those things that you get a limited amount because they want to balance it out just like slights were. Alright, that's everything. I don't really need to open that door. Oh, Shadow Man! Where'd you come from? The ground? Probably didn't need the Defender for this. I think at this point, Defender's not too necessary. We do not have any friends yet. But I guess we'll get friends eventually. I'm gonna have to use up a friend. Alright, let me in. No one here either. 
There's nothing but Heartless in this castle. Is that different from how it was when you were here in the real world, Riku? Because there wasn't really that many people here before. Voice! Answer my call! I know you're watching, so explain this! Where are the people from my memories? Do you want to see them? There's not like that many people from your memories here, are there? Of course I do. But you cast them aside. What? You dreamt of the outside world, and you passed through the door to darkness. Behind you, you left family, friends, home, everything, all in pursuit of darkness. But I cast that aside too. I just like casting things aside. What do you have to show for it? First your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to cast away. It's empty, like that room. It's a metaphor, like your memories. That's why you don't meet anyone. Your heart is hollow, just like Bastion, except for the residual darkness. You're wrong, I rejected the darkness. Ha ha ha, did you really now? Apparently not, because you can get dark powers from leveling up, Riku. I saw it, you can't hide it from me. 